Welcome, everybody, to our very sad edition of Shotgun Saturday Night. We, once again, are playing TW 2020. We are in the Santa Monica Civic Center uh, Auditorium. And we are going to open up tonight's show with the memorial to Linda McMahon. Vince McMahon comes to the ring, and he's standing in the ring, and all the wrestlers are around the ring. And Vince goes, as you see him this Monday on Raw, my wife, Linda McMahon, was struck down and set on a blaze by a fellow WWF competitor known as The Undertaker. Or, his contract name, Mark Calloway. At this time, we would like to do a 10-bell salute for my dearly departed wife, Linda. And also in the ring, you see a young Shane McMahon and a young Stephanie McMahon. They're, they're both crying, standing next to their father. And it's it's just sad. And they do a 10-bell salute. Ding. 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 And on the last one, it just goes... Doom. As the Undertaker's theme music plays. And Vince hurries Stephanie and Shane out the ring. And Vince stands in the ring. And all the wrestlers just kind of start parting, parting away for the Undertaker to walk out. And everything like that. And here comes the Undertaker. And he's accompanied with Kane, Paul Bearer, and Bradshaw. As... As they make their way to the ring, all the other wrestlers head to the back, and the Undertaker has a microphone in his hand. And Vince is kind of, you caused enough damage. What do you want, Taker? And Undertaker goes, as you see, this last roll is war. Vince, I will stop at nothing to complete the orders of the Dark Lord. He promised me powers beyond my wildest dreams. And he has given me those powers to wield at my command from the dark savior, the dark priest himself. The dark lord's prophecy will come to fruition, Vince, and the final days of the WWF are soon to be near. Vince just stands there and he he says, Mark, you son of a bitch. How dare you? How dare you come out here and interrupt this? How dare you show your face on my television program for after what you've done? You took my kid's mother away from them. You took my wife away. I should have you thrown in jail and, and killed in the electric chair, but you sick son of a bitch, you probably would like that. You talk about this dark lord. You talk about the orders from the Dark Lord. Who the hell is he, huh? Better yet, hell, it's a new generation. Who the hell is she? Who told you to kill my wife, you son of a bitch? An Undertaker. <laughs> Vince, the Dark Lord will come when the ministry has been completed. <coughs> wow, that's hurt my voice. That are my orders. And you are nobody and the World Wrestling Federation will stand in my way from completing this task. Vince then says, what are your orders, huh? To kill my wife? What next? You're going to kill me, my son, my baby girl? Undertaker then stands there and he goes, your wife was just an unfortunate casualty. 
and the Dark Lord's plan, and the same fate will happen to anyone who stands in our way. Whether it be you, your wife, your kids, anyone. Here, and other companies, we will see the demise of you and your beloved company, Vince. And Vince stands there and goes, Mark, I don't understand. You want to destroy the company you helped build? Mark, this isn't like you. Please, Mark. Snap out of it. And the Undertaker laughs again. And he goes, Mark is no more, Vince. For the Dark Lord is who you're speaking to now. And Vince goes, wait, you're the Dark Lord? And the Undertaker goes, no. The Dark Lord is speaking through me. You want your answers, Vince. You will have them soon enough. And I will reveal myself soon. And just know that the final days of the World Wrestling Federation are coming to an end, Vince. And this little war will be meaningless. For the real war is here and right now. Vince goes, you son of a bitch. First you kill my wife. Then you, you, you take my wrestlers and brainwash them and manipulate them to do your evil deed. You son of a bitch. When I get my hands on you, I am going to kill you. And then the Undertaker laughs again. And he goes, you are in no power to kill anybody, Vince. Vince goes, oh yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll let you, Dark Lord, pick any one of your three men to go against somebody I'm going to handpick tonight in our main event. And I'll show you just how strong your competitors, your, your minions are, Dark Lord. Because they ain't shit compared to my top-notch wrestlers. And the Dark Lord, through the Undertaker, he nods his head and goes, If that is what you want, Vince, you are signing over the demise of your wrestlers, not me. Then light strikes, and the four men disappear. We go on to the next segment. And in this segment, we have a qualifying match for the Cruiserweight Classic. I just want to go ahead and say, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Dylan the Villain. Welcome back to some Total Extreme Wrestling. I wanted to get that memorial service out of the way. I did not want to interrupt it whatsoever. We are back once again playing some Total Extreme Wrestling 2020. It's Saturday, week 2, February. As you just seen, our main event tonight is some one of the three men, either Undertaker, Kane, or Bradshaw, in the main event tonight versus somebody handpicked by Vince McMahon. I want to know who it's going to be. It's awesome. But we are starting off the action with two ECW wrestlers. Jerry Lynn and Lance Storm both coming from ECW. As you see, you already know who won the match. Both coming from ECW and they're trying to qualify for the light heavyweight classic. As you know, we are having a light heavyweight tournament. And the winner will go on to WrestleMania to face the other finalist for the light heavyweight title, and the winner being the first light heavyweight champion. We have two men trying to qualify. It is Jerry Lynn and Lance Storm. Lance Storm picks up the victory by pinfall. Uh, Don Marie was also supposed to help Lance Storm pick up the victory. Uh, Jerry Lynn debuted his show stiller gimmick. Got great. Lance Storm with a machine, wrestling machine. That also got great. And Don Marie, Valley Girl, that got great. Uh, they don't click, which is which sucks, and the crowd was turned off because these two guys are, as you can see, they're not very popular. They're popular in the Tri-State, but we are not in the Tri-State. So, uh, I should have probably booked this in the Tri-State, and they probably would have got a better rating, but Lance Storm picks up the victory, and uh, he moves on in the Cruiserweight, the light heavyweight uh, classic here. He, he moves forward. Uh, Sammy got a 28, which is horrible. But in due time, hopefully we can get Lance Storm a little bit more popular all around America and uh, see if we can uh, 
might offer him a contract if he wins the tournament. Uh, next segment. And it is Do Love and Owen Hart are backstage, and Lance Storm walks through. And Owen then stops him. He goes, hey, man, that was a that was a great match you have there. Uh, you know, he's like, uh, I liked, I liked what you, I liked what you showed out there. Lance goes, looks at him and goes, <laughs> coming from a guy teamed with him. And do love then walks up and goes, oh, baby, Owen, what's going on? And Owen's trying to like, you know, he's, he's just talking to Lance, you know, trying to, trying to like, hey, Lance, you know, I, I like what you got there. And Lance kind of just brushed him off and was just like, yeah, yeah, whatever, dude, like, <laughs> why would I why would I take your thanks when you're teamed up with somebody like Do Love? And uh Do Love he, he just really didn't give a shit. No one kinda got mad at it. And Lance Storm walks off with Don Murray. And that's X segment. Seven got a eighty two. We then go on to another match. It is Rocky Maivia. As y'all know, the Rock Rocky has been feuding with the nation here lately. And um he lost to Farouk. He told Farouk this this feud is far from over, and challenged Farouk to uh, a ma- uh, steel cage match at the pay per view. Uh, the Rock is taking on Karma here tonight. Uh, the Rock, Rocky Maivia, beats him with a Samoan drop. Rocky with a 71, and Karma with a 51. Awesome ratings. 69. Nice. We go on to the next segment. Rocky Maivia picking up the easy win. After this, Rocky Maivia then grabs the microphone and he says, Farouk, you still haven't answered my challenge for the steel cage match at the next In Your House pay-per-view. I'm waiting for your answer, Farouk. You, you think you can pick up an easy victory by having your men beat me up. But no, son. It's just going to be me and you one-on-one in the ring. And I'm going to show you why the Mayavia family is top line lineage and while my bloodline is destined for me to become the next World Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion and Farouk you're just a stepping stone into a path of my greatness Farouk you think you can have your other friends or whatever the hell you want to call them come out here and jump me week after week and all this well no nah, Farouk come this Sunday I want your ass in a steel cage so you won't have any damn excuse on why I beat you. I want your answer, Farouk, or I'm going to find you and I'm going to beat the answer out of you. Segment got a 77. Awesome segment. We go on to the next match. And it's Jeff Jarrett. And he walks into Vince McMahon's office. And Vince is there with Shane and Stephanie. And they're trying to mourn the, the death of their mom and his wife. And Jeff Jarrett just barges in. And goes, Vince! Buddy, I heard that you are looking for a wrestler. And Vince goes, Can't you see? I am trying to grieve with my family. And you don't even have the decency to knock on the damn door. And Jeff Jarrett goes, Ah, my apologies, Vince. You just... The Undertaker says that, or whoever the hell he is, wanted to... You said you wanted to book one of his people in a match that he can pick, and you can pick. Vince, look no further. I'm the guy. Book me in the night's event of Mint. Vince goes, Jeff, I already have the person handpicked. And it's going to be Psycho Sid. I'm booking Psycho Sid in the main event tonight. And as for you, you'll have a match this Monday. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you who your opponent is. But you're going to have a match this Monday on Raw. And I hope you practice and you do all the training that you need to because you're going to need it, buddy. And Jeff's like, thanks, Mr. McMahon. Thank you for the opportunity. And he goes, oh, you won't be thanking me anymore since you want to barge into my office without knocking. That's fine. That's fine. Because this Monday, you're going to go on. You're going to go face somebody who who I say is going to destroy your ass. Jeff Derrick goes, what? You, you, what? Why would you want to do that? You just signed me. And Vince laughs and goes, huh, next time, after you go one-on-one with this person, maybe 
you will learn some goddamn respect. Now get the hell out of my office. Can't you see I'm trying to grieve with my family? And Jeff Jarrett's like, oh, God dang it. I done, I done pissed off the boss. And he walks off. And then we go on to our next segment, which is a match. And we have the Road Warrior Hawk facing Vader. As y'all know from last Monday, the Road Warriors, even though it wasn't booked that way, the Road Warriors picked up the victory against Shamrock and Vader. And this match, Vader is wanting a one-on-one -on -one match with Hawk tonight. Hawk defeats Vader in under eight minutes with the Flying Lariat. But Dwayne Gill comes out and distracts Vader. And causing him to get clothesline. Um, which gave Hawk the victory. After the match. Jim Cornette is, is. Vader is pissed. Kim Shamrock. Is pissed. And Jim Cornette is pissed. And Dwayne Gills. He's, he's standing on the thing. He's celebrating with the Word Warriors. And he's laughing. And Jim Cornette goes. You think this is funny? You think this is funny buddy? <laughs> oh I got something for you. You have two weeks, buddy. You have two damn weeks to prepare yourself for Vader in a last man standing match. You have two weeks. Because coming after these two weeks, you am not going to the main event of WrestleMania. You are not going to win the World Wrestling Federation Championship. Because as long as I'm alive, I will make damn sure that you will never see Championship gold in this company, Dwayne Gill. I guarantee it. Because come this in your house pay per view, Vader is going to break your damn neck. He's going to kill you. You're going to need to. Don't worry about your WrestleMania match. You might as well be planning your damn funeral, boy. Because after that match, you're going to be six feet deep in the damn ground. And you better hope. The only way that you're going to be seen on WWF television again is you better hope that Undertaker digs up your damn body and turns you into one of his damn zombie zone minions or whatever the hell. Because at this Sunday, at this pay-per-view, you're dead, son. And you can guarantee that. And we go on to the next section. And it is the Shawn Michaels. As y'all all know, for those of y'all watch Monday Night Raw, y'all know that Shawn Michaels, after the match, was attacked by Psycho Sid. And powerbombed out the damn ring onto the mat. Uh, it looked like Shawn Michaels messed up his back real bad. Uh, he is still not have he is has not been ugh, he is he has not been released from the hospital. And they are saying that Shawn Michaels may have to have surgery. Um, we are I'm getting word in my headset that. Um, if he does have surgery, he might have to vacate the World Wrestling Federation heavyweight title, um, which is heartbreaking. For He just won it, and um, he's already going to have to vacate the title, which is uh, heartbreaking to every Click fan and Shawn Michaels fan out there. Uh, very heartbreaking news. Uh, they're saying that they're going to have – Vince McMahon is going to have uh, a special announcement – coming this Monday regarding the World Wrestling Federation Heavyweight Championship and Shawn Michaels' condition. Um, hopefully he gets better, and hopefully he can at least wait and not compete until WrestleMania to defend the World Wrestling Federation Heavyweight title against Dwayne Gill in the main event. Um, we'll find out come this Monday Night Raw. Uh, I believe the next match is the main event which the Dark Lord will handpick one of The Undertaker, Kane, or Bradshaw versus Psycho Sid, and we're about to see who the Dark Lord picks, and it is Kane. Kane has been picked in about the good heat and good wrestling. Psycho Sid defeats Kane when Kane was disqualified when The Undertaker ran in and attacked Psycho Sid. The match got a 70 Kane with a 73, that's really good. And Psycho Sid with a 58. Kane was held back by the chaotic nature. They had good chemistry, obviously, uh, Kane and Paul Bearer. And Sid was held back by the chaotic nature. Uh, I booked this to be just two big, uh, two big motherfuckers just going at it and hitting each other. Um, 
Undertaker, Psycho Sid was kind of getting the better of Kane, and Undertaker came in and hit him from behind, ringing the bell. But after the match, uh, the Undertaker came and start beating the shit out of Psycho Sid after the match. Uh, and Vince McMahon comes down and pretty much gets in the middle of it. And Undertaker tombstones Vince McMahon as Psycho Sid gets away. Uh, Vince McMahon pretty much sacrificed himself for Psycho Sid to get away uh, so he wouldn't get turned into a demon or whatever. Uh, after they tombstoned him, uh, Paul Bearer then points at him and basically he's like, you want to you wanna take him? And Undertaker goes, no, uh, no, no, let's not take him. And uh, they leave Vince in the middle of the ring uh, after the tombstone. Uh, that segment got a 89. Awesome shit. Uh, well, let's go ahead and finish the show. Show got a 77. Uh, it's not our best show. I wonder why. Uh, <laughs> but it did good. I'm uh, I'm proud of this show. It did all right. Uh, as you've seen, Rocky Maivia is wanting to answer from Farouk. Farouk better have his answer or Rocky Maivia is going to get the answer. Jeff Jarrett barged into Vince McMahon's office. Vince McMahon then told Jeff Jarrett that he has a match for a mystery opponent this Monday Night Raw, and Jeff Jarrett is going to regret ever barging in Vince McMahon's office when Vince McMahon is trying to grieve with his family. We are having a last man standing match at In Your House with Vader and Dwayne Gill. Uh, we also found out that Shawn Michaels may have to vacate the World Wrestling Federation heavyweight title due to the actions of Psycho Sid. We'll see that. And that's the show. Um, that's it. Once again, this has been your boy Dylan the Villain coming back at you with some TEW Total Extreme Wrestling 2020. This has been Shotgun Saturday Night. I want to thank everybody who watches, everybody who subscribes to the channel, everybody who likes the video. It means the world to me. Helps out the channel a lot. Thank y'all from the bottom of my heart for watching the video. I put a lot of time and effort into making these videos and making the intro and making everything look cool and awesome and just everything. Uh, I, I really work hard on doing all this. So uh, the likes and the comments and everything lets me know that you guys like it and y'all y'all like seeing it. Um, thank you, everybody, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I know this hasn't been the most action-packed, jam-packed episode of Shotgun Saturday Night, but this Monday is going to be awesome. Uh, I have a few surprises for everybody. The Dark Lord may or may not show up. Um, so, and we have the huge Shawn Michaels uh, announcement uh, events regarding the World Wrestling Federation Heavyweight title. Um, again, I'm going to do another outro. This has been Dylan the Villain. Love, peace, and chicken grease, and thank you, everybody who watches and likes and subscribes to the channel. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Peace out, and I'll see y'all on Monday Night Raw.